Not nasty. 50s. So we're yeah. going to reverse okay, it. Okay, there you yeah, go. Yeah, there All you go. Right, Mid fifties, and and you're the only one I know that can do that line really well. <laughs> I'm honestly, it's impressive. But let's talk a little bit about the cloudy stretch that we do have. That's today. Could see some clouds tomorrow morning as well. But here's the thing. We're mild today. We're breezy. I am tracking some pop up shower chances today after about that three o'clock hour. Tomorrow we start off the day with some clouds. We turn partly cloudy, cloudy rather as we go through time. We'll be a little bit breezy and any rain chances I'm tracking on Sunday. There are more clouds on Sunday. I think any shower chances are going to stick to the north. So we are looking good, guys, which is a nice pattern for us. So here we go. Yes, we have the clouds now. That cold front's on the way. Let me take the map all the way out. That area of low pressure will combine with that warm or that cold front rather and kind of skirt its way like this later on this afternoon. So between three and six o'clock, we do have these minor rain chances. 41 right now, you don't need to worry about umbrellas right now. At the moment, things are looking good in Milwaukee. Temperatures stay nice and mild overnight, and that's what clouds do during overnight hours. It keeps us a little bit more mild than we would be without them. Still feels like 39, so you might want to still have like, you know, a little hat handy today. We see those wind chill values go up to about 45 degrees by one o'clock when you hit 50 you ditch the wind chill. So you see that line just kind of goes flat there. So it will be 55 degrees at about three o'clock today. And you see that little cloud is spitting out a couple tiny showers. It's really all I anticipate, especially if you're north of 94. After that, we're smooth sailing going into the weekend because this is moving through quicker. This was supposed to be overnight. It allows for our weekend to be better. So by all means, low pressure system move out fast. As you can see, there's that three to six timeline. It does show a little bit more coverage than what I'm expecting. I think this is going to be more spotty, but just kind of anticipate that moves out before Friday night football should not impact your evening commute really in a big way. It allows for high pressure to return. That is the trend that we get going into the weekend. We stay mild and it is a nice fall weekend in store for us. So Operation Football, we're talking the level three playoffs here. We will stay mostly cloudy. And as I said, those shower chances move on out as temperatures drop through those mid 40s. As we look at your weekend, the rain chances being nice and low. We're partly cloudy. It is nice. Daylight saving time goes on and the rain chances again low with a time outside good. When you have this low and good going into November, that's pretty solid, so let's enjoy and embrace that. You can see we're eight days away from Veterans Day, 20 days until Thanksgiving. I've already seen turkeys at the grocery store, and we are 52 days away from Christmas. But look at the sunrise and sunset time. So Saturday, the sunset is 540. Sunday, we get to see the sun a little earlier, 631, but that sunset time, that's always the one that hurts, 439. But I am highlighting next week a little bit more of an active pattern. We have one system on Monday that could increase some rain chances, and another quick one is going to roll through as we go to Wednesday as well. So a little bit more of an active pattern as we head into next week. Here's that full seven-day forecast that does highlight a nice bump in temps too. Look at that, Monday, 61. More clouds going into much of next week as we go into that active pattern. Well, the weather kind of shaping up okay this weekend, and there's plenty to do around the city. Our top weekend picks coming up at 645. And new data being collected right now shows who is moving out of our local community and who's coming in.